Go ahead and move. Hold on. Yeah, y'all. Man, I'm talking about just left out the break room. Manager come in there, started capping people up in there. Started shooting, bro. Like, I'm whole, though, y'all. Sadly, though, we lost a few of our associates. I don't know how many. I'm not going to speak on it. I'm not going to show it because I ain't like that. But I'm whole, y'all. Uh, the story is that. I mean, I came in. Got down. What's going on here? Shoot him. Got down. You know yeah. Bro, I was just about to come in and get some snacks. You ain't getting them now. Fuck. But pretty much, pretty much, uh... The manager came in here, started dumping, man. As soon as I left out the break room, he went in there, man. By the grace of God, yo. Man, I don't know. That shit, wow. Ah, uh, probably about... Go ahead, move. 12 p.m. Uh, Tuesday evening, we responded here to the Walmart on, uh, what is this, Sam's Drive, for a report of a shooting. Uh, once the initial officers first got here, they quickly realized that it was uh, an active threat type situation, so we kind of switched our tactics to an active threat response and um, kind of went... Th that motion. Um, several other officers, many other officers uh, also responded. Uh, parts of our members of our fire department responded. We did a, basically like a, a tactical um, entrance and, and movement in the building. Uh, we located multiple fatalities and multiple injured persons. A um, little while later, through the course of, of providing treatment, uh, we were able to establish that we believe it's only a, we believe it's a single shooter. And 12 p.m. Uh, Tuesday evening, we responded here to the Walmart on uh, what is this, Sam's Drive for a report of a shooting. Uh, once the initial officers first got here, they quit uh, an active threat type situation. So we kind of it's like a show on salon was stopped by the police to know what you have. That motion. Y'all was shot by Shimma Kakadash. Um, my name is Brother Pop from the Camp Pops in Babylon here in Tampa Bay, Florida. And, uh, I want to give a uh, double honor to elders and apostles a great millstone, peace and blessings to the hopeful light. And I want to get into a short, you know, quick lesson, man. You know, you know, uh, touching on this situation here and many other situations. You now I'm going to call this a uh, class somewhere around the lines of, um, you know, death is surging out. You know, and that's basically the whole topic of this lesson. You know, because as you're seeing, judgment is being brought out, man. The Lord is judging a lot of people, man. You know what I'm saying? With the situation, it says um, that a manager walked in, break room, and he killed, you know, 10 people that worked there. And he was just bugging out, man. All right? Which is one of the store managers. You know, and the dude was right here, was, you know, discussing, discussing it. And as he was saying, he said, um, right when the right when the dude came in, he left out. You know, so really, man, the Lord the Lord really does this. The Lord really brings out these judgments. You know, the Lord kills who you want to kill, man. I just showed you right there. All right, because if he stayed in there a moment longer and that manager came in while he was in there, hey man, he would he would have been the eleventh victim, you know, eleventh person killed. You know, so, um, um, so like, yeah, but, uh, yeah, he would have been a, that 11th victim, man, you know, and the scripture says, uh, the Lord, you know, he kills and he make of life, you know, and let me get that real quick. Kind of, yeah, so the, like the scripture says, man, you know, the Lord kill and he make it alive, man. You know, he wound, he healed, you know what I'm saying? Right here, Deuteronomy 20, uh, 32, verse 39, it says, See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. <laughs> All right, so... See now, you know that Lord, you know he he's the Lord, man. You know, <laughs> he can kill, he can make a life, he can heal, he can, you know, wound. You know what I'm saying? He can make you sick. He 
can heal you from that sickness, all types of things. This, this is the Lord's doing, man. You know, and a lot of people say, hey, man, you know, try to say it's the devil. But really, no, it's the Lord, man. The Lord sent out deaf angels. You know, the Lord sent out Satan to bother you and fuck with you and shit, man. You know, like with the whole situation with uh, Job, man. You know, the Lord gave, you know, Satan the, the, the go to be able to mess with Job to see where his faith lies, man. To test his faith. You know, and Joe was able to endure it, you know, ultimately. You know what I'm saying? But it just shows you right there, man. The Lord gives out these orders to do these certain things, man. All right, and the Lord spit, uh, sent a death angel. He put a death angel on that manager that went in there, and he just killed 10 people. All right? And a lot of these people are starting to go crazy. As you can see, a lot of people are starting to go crazy. A lot of demons are starting to, you know, get into people, man. Where they're starting to kill people, they're starting to go, you know, do things they never thought they would do before, you know. So a lot of these, uh, uh, a lot of these dudes getting, uh, a lot of these people, you know, are getting death angels putting them, death angels created for vengeance, or spirit, spirits created for vengeance, to seek vengeance out. On, you know, certain people like those ten people that was killed, the Lord, the Lord had it out for them, man. The Lord put judgment, sent judgment on them. That was judgment, you know. Believe it or not, that was judgment, man, from the Lord. Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, you know. And uh, at the end of the day, man, it, it, the judgment was brought out. You know, those ten people were killed. And not just this video, as you see, as I go down, this news page says, uh, gas station clerk opens fire on a man who broke jar of, jar of salsa. <laughs> All right. And it also says down here, 14-year-old suspect in Alabama, double murder arrested. You know, so this is a 14-year-old kid, man. All right. 14-year-old kid killed two people, man. You know what I'm saying? A double murder. If I can see, do they got the uh, gun? You know, I just show you the video real quick. Right here. Be charged as an adult for a double murder. Vincent Oliver Jr. is at the Southeast Alabama Diversion Center this hour, facing capital murder charges. Dothan police say he shot two women Sunday night. This happened at a home on Fifth Avenue, not far from Dothan City Cemetery. Police suspect there was a group of people at the home at the time of the shooting. The victims, 21-year-old Jasmine Bean and 20-year-old Jalexius Wells, were from Dothan. Now, this isn't Oliver's first run-in with the law. He also faces charges for attempted assault and shooting a gun into someone's vehicle. Alabama law bars us from releasing information about teens involved in crimes. But in this case, a judge made an allowance because catching Oliver was a matter of public safety. 14-year-old boy may be... Hey, man, so as you see, man, that's not no boy, man. That is a demon, all right? That is a damn demon, man, you know, and that child, man. You know, and really it comes from, like I said in this comment, you know, from these rap and drill music that these kids be listening to, man. It says, don't worry. He says, don't worry, guys. Drill music is just, quote-unquote, art. It has no influence on ch kids, all right? You know, he's just being sarcastic, but really, man, it is these drill music, man, you know? That, uh, uh, what's his name, man? Pooh Shiesty, Lil Dirk, all these other different type of rappers that just sing about rapping about murdering and killing and all these other different things, man. That's what it is, man. You know, and it, it, it influenced the kids now today, today, you know, like this 14 year old child, man. You know, and he had a death, death angel in him, man. You know, and seeking to pit to death those two suspects are are not suspect um but those two women you know that he killed and not only that it said before he was already under investigation for shooting some shooting in someone's car man all right so that's not a child now to get this real quick it says uh ecclesiasticus chapter 39 verse 28 it says there be spirits create that are created for vengeance which in the in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction they pour out their force. In the peace, the wrath of him that made them. Alright, so 
there be, you know, spirits created for vengeance, man. All right. And these kids, like 14 year old, this 14 year old kid, man, you know, and that manager at move. that store, you know, they have spirits created for vengeance on them, man, to be able to kill 10 people, to be able to kill two women, you know, that's of the Lord, man. All right. You know, so the Lord, Lord put that spirit out of those death angels on those two people. You know, to be able to do things like that. And just on on people overall that does things, that kill people. You know, uh, Jeffrey Dahmer, man, as an example. You know, that dude had a death angel on him, man. All right. To see vengeance, you know, on 230 Jakes, man. That was going off. 230 Wicked Ass Jakes, man. All right. And it says, uh, in the time of destruction, they pour out their force. All right. In the time of that destruction, you know, for them, them people to be destroyed, those 10 people to be destroyed, to be taken out, cut off of the book of life. You know what I'm saying? It says, uh, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made him. All right. So they pour out their force and appease, you know, the wrath of the Lord that made him, man. All right. That put those spirits on him, man. So really the Lord was appeased with that. You know, because the Lord did. You know, the Lord put those spirits on on, on uh, that manager, that 14-year-old kid, to be able to do shit like that, man. All right? To appease his wrath, you know? Because the Lord was... Lord got it out for Jake, man. Lord got it out for a lot of Jake out here. You know, and mainly, most of these Jakes will be getting killed. Uh, like a, most, a lot of these Jakes will be getting, you know gruesomely, you know, killed in the streets in the time of Jacob's trouble, man. But the Lord's giving out early judgment. All right, the Lord's giving out early judgment. But soon, you know, a lot of these jakes, the Lord got it out for a lot of these jakes, man. All right, for two-thirds jakes overall, you know. There ain't going to be no mercy in that time for them, man. All right, because um, they went off. They sinned upon the Lord. Are they sinned against the Lord? You know what I'm saying? And do whatever they want to do and mock and scoff the, the prophets, man. The Lord got it out for two third jakes, man. At the end of the day. Alright. Now I get this real quick. It says uh Second Timothy chapter three and verse one. It says this note also that in the day in the last days perilous times shall come. Alright, so this note also you know that in the in the last days you know, perilous times will come, man. You know, that perilous means full of danger. You know, times times that are coming, that's that's full of danger, man. All right, and we're in, we are in the beginning of those perilous times, you know. To the point, you know, you, you don't know when you could be taken out. You know what I'm saying? You know, but ultimately, really, you know, the man of the Lord... We don't, we're not really worried about that shit, man. Because we know the Lord really has us. You know what I'm saying? We're not really worried about it, man. But for a simple two-third Jake, man, you know, they can just get taken out like that. You know, a lot of your family members that were in the world, you know, brothers are going through right now. People they know, a lot of their family members, hey, man, they're getting judgment. They're catching judgment, man. From the Lord, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. They're catching judgment, you know. So, you know, and, you know, brothers brothers have family members, brothers have friends, you know, that died in the world, you know, just recently, man. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, man, you got to understand that it's the all of the Lord, all right? It's all of the Lord. This judgment gets sent out. It's all of the Lord, man. The Lord put these spirits of vengeance upon, you know, other people, you know, to just to appease his wrath, you know. So we're in that time, man, you know, and many more of people that we knew in the world, people of, that we know that don't have this truth, that don't have this knowledge, don't have this information, you know what I'm saying, will we'll die, man. All right, and that's just the truth about it, you know. But, um, come on, let me see. Find the scripture real quick. 
Here we are. It says, uh, It says, Second Ezra chapter 15 and verse 26. It says, The Lord knoweth all them that sin against him, and therefore delivereth he them unto death and destruction. All right. So, the Lord, like I said right here, man, the Lord knoweth all that them that sin against him, man. You two third Jake's, man. The Lord said, I will start, start at my house first. So, Jake, Jake is catching hell. Jake catching judgment, you know. Jake is dying out here, man, in these streets. You know what I'm saying? And the Lord, you know, really got it out for him, man. Because like it says, it says, I delivered he, them, you know, unto death, man. To death and destruction. And no one's going to be able to deliver you out of the hand of the Lord, man. Once the Lord got his hand around your neck, you cannot be delivered out of that, man. Once the Lord, Lord sets his eyes upon you, man, to be able to take you out, you can... Ain't nobody will be able to help you from that, man. Because like the scripture says, I am he, you know. Deuteronomy 32 and 39, it says, you know, I am he, you know. So what can you do against the Lord, man? That's him, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's him, man. You know, what um, uh, what people say nowadays, I'm him. But the Lord's literally him, man. The Lord's literally him. The Lord can do this thing, do these things, and no one can help you. You know, or save you, deliver you out of the Lord's hands. You know, it says, uh, verse 27, For now are the plagues come upon the whole earth, and ye shall remain in them. For Yahweh shall not deliver you, because ye have sinned against him. All right. So, uh, yeah, man. So these plagues that come upon this earth, you know, Two thirds Jake's gonna remain in them. Like I said, Jacob's trouble when these times come. You know, even now you got plagues going out. Even now you got prophecies being being fulfilled. You know, upon this earth that's coming that 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 already that's already on this earth, man. All right, sicknesses, diseases, all types of things that is plaguing Jake, man. You know, but a lot more is gonna come in the times we're coming into, man. All right, and the Lord's gonna the Lord says, uh, "Ye shall remain in them." All right, and the Lord will not deliver them because they have sinned against the Lord, man. Two third Jakes ultimately have sinned against the Lord. All right, but um, Colin, that's all I want to get on. That. I just want to get in a short, quick hit on that. We give all praises to the Lord Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Kakadash. We give uh, the bodies, elders, and apostles a great millstone once again. Peace and blessings to all full elect. Hope all is edified. Shalom.